guys, it's your girl Kiara Marie here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is finally February and we all know what that means. Valentine's Day, a girl's favorite holiday to be wined and dined by their Valentine, if you have one. If not, you got your gal pals. So today I am going to be doing a Valentine's Day inspired look. Very pink, very girly, and yeah, really excited. Also, side note, I got my hair um, dyed, and I am so blonde right now. It is like insanity, and I absolutely love it. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So I just zoomed you guys in here so that you guys can get a closer look at what I'm doing with the eyes. Um, first, I'm gonna start by taping the edges of my eyes because I just find that it's gonna give it a preciser line. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll be right back. Now that I have that all done, I look a little bit crazy, but we're gonna get started. So first I'm gonna be taking the mat Geez, will there ever be a time where I can actually talk properly? The MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just going to use that to prime my eyelids. James Charles palette and I'm going to be using this shade right here and putting that into my crease. How you dressed in black when I left you dressed in white. Can you feel me? I'm going to apologize. I kind of look like a boy right now, but I just had to put my hair back. But anyways, so yeah, I finished putting that brown shade in the crease. Then I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here and also running it through the crease. How you dressed in black when I left you dressed in white. Can you feel me? Then I'm going to be taking this shade from the Armed and Gorgeous um, palette in the Jaclyn Hill Revolt collection and I'm also going to be running it under my crease. Back into the James Charles palette and I'm going to be going into this shade right here and also running that into the crease. So then I ended up just packing this shade from the James Charles palette all over my lid like so. And then I'm going to go back into the Bling Boss palette and I'm going to be taking this shade and this shade and smoking up the crease more. Then for some added glam I'm going to be taking uh, this shade right here and just packing it over that color on the lid. Now I'm going to be going back into this shade here from again the ja uh, Jaclyn Charles, yep Jaclyn Charles, the <laughs> Jaclyn Hill um, palette here. All right, now so to save some time, I'm going to be doing my brows, my eyelashes, and liner all off camera because you've already seen that. It's super boring, so yeah. So next, I'm going to start off um, with the face. So I'm going to be starting off with the Porefessional by Benefit um, Primer to really get that skin nice and smooth. Just a little bit. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This foundation is amazing. Then for concealer, first I'm going to be taking this Becca Color Corrector. It's like a peach undertone because I am one tired mother. So, just going to dab that a little bit underneath my eye. Honestly, in the lighting, it looks like it could be just a concealer color, but it does have like a pinkier undertone, and I don't like to use it on its own. So, and just drag that down. <laughs> Concealer on top. Right. Whenever the coast was clear, she'd 
asked me to come out, I'd say, hey, girl. And this really good trick that I've adapted um, is that I take a beauty blender and then I take the Max Flick Fix Plus, the like dewy version, and I just spray it on to the sponge, get it wet. And then that's how I blend out my concealer is with this damp sponge that has like the dewy mist in it and I just feel like it adds some radiance. The coast was clear and she'd ask me to come out. I'd say, hey girl, come on right around. So she knocked at the door. I was standing with the keys on my hand to the four by four. Checking my ride, checking that nobody saw. Then I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier setting powder with that same sponge and just going to be baking under my eyes. Next, I'm gonna be contouring my face while I have the bake on, and lately I've absolutely been loving the James Charles um, palette for contouring, and I love taking this brown shade right here. I'm going to sculpt out it um, and bake underneath. So I'm going to be taking this Morphe Contour and Highlight Sponge and more of the Laura Mercier powder. And I'm just going to carve out my cheekbones. You promise it's no more saying you'll be home by 12 I'm strong and then I for I'll win the girls but leaving with the boy next door Can you feel me? Yeah <laughs> Cooking I'm going to brush away the other bake that I have going on around my face here Next, I'm going to be doing blush, and for blush, I'm going to be taking the NARS blush in the shade Unlawful. Now, there is this product that I got in like a little mini thing when I did an order from Sephora, and it's the Laura Mercier um, Matte Radiance Baked Powder um, in the shade Highlight 1. And it is such a subtle highlight, like I absolutely love it. So I put this on before highlighter. Like, look at how amazing that looks. It's so pretty. Now that the bake has had some time, I'm gonna brush it away. Now for the real deal highlight, I'm going to first take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and just get that face a little bit out. Then I'm gonna be dipping again into the James Charles palette and I'm going to be taking this shade right here, this gold, really get it in there, tap off the excess and Now that is a highlight, folks. Yep. Next is the lips, and for the lips, I'm going to be taking the MAC lip liner. Actually, I got this in like a little birthday set from Sephora, but um, the tardiest lip paint in the shade Birthday Okay, guys, this is the finished Valentine's Day look. If you like it, be sure to like and comment down below. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe. Click that red button down there. And if you guys have any future video requests, be sure to leave them down below. So until next time, guys, that's all.